Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol NBEV. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, then it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that over the past couple of days, the price has made a very nice move. And when you consider that just yesterday on Thursday, the price was all the way down there. And then all of a sudden today, the price closed right there. Any rational person is gonna say, yeah, the, the price has definitely made a very, very nice move. But that does lead to the valid question now of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. In my mind, it all revolves around a single area, and that area is right here at $5 and at 95 cents. Why is 5.95 important? Well, hopefully we can agree on the logic that price movements with genuine power, with true strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That'd be a total contradiction. Exactly, so with that in mind, think about 595. Any sort of closes below there, or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of that range that it just broke out from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas, let's say the price pulled back here, but then in this situation behaved like that, and then started to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this uh, set of circumstances? Well, you'd have a set of lows right there. You'd have those lows down at that point if you picture each one of those as stair steps. Well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's going to make progress forward. And in this situation, I'm just defining and quantifying the phrase, quote unquote, make progress as 595. What about levels of resistance? Well, as far as those are concerned in the very short term, you have that pink line right there, the 200 period simple moving average. If the price can push up through there, then you have just the level I've talked about in past videos, and that's up at the $6.50 mark. So all in all though, any way you look at it, nice move today, nice move the past couple of days. Now it's just a question of can the bulls can continue to build upon this momentum next week? We shall see. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.